Hello everyone! Para sa video na to, ang pag-uusapan natin ay ang basic rules for integration or anti-differentiation. Let's talk about its basic form. So we have the indefinite integral of f of x with respect to x. We have f of x dx is just equal to the antiderivative f of x plus the arbitrary constant c. Huwag kakalimutan ang plus c kapag kumukuha tayo ng indefinite integral. So now let's talk about the rules. Ang una... We have the power rule for integration. Ganito lang siya gamitin. If we are getting the integral of x raised to the power n dx, this is just equal to, we take, kuhanin lang yung base, we have x here, tapos yung nasa exponent na n, dadagdagan lang natin siya ng isa. Tapos kung ano yung nasa exponent na n plus 1, siya rin yung ilalagay natin sa denominator and we add the arbitrary constant c. Gamitin natin to dito sa ating una example, we have, The integral of x raised to 4 dx. Ito yung formula. This is just equal to, kuhanin lang ulit yung base, that is x. Tapos yung exponent natin, 4, this is our n. Kaya ang gagawin, dadagdagan lang siya ng isa. So this will become x raised to the exponent 4, dagdagan ng isa. Tapos this is over. Kung ano yung nasa exponent, siya yung nasa denominator. So we have 4 plus 1 in the denominator. And then the arbitrary constant, c. Then we perform the operation, we have x raised to 4 plus 1 is just equal to 5. And then this is over, 4 plus 1 is also equal to 5. So this is x raised to 5 over 5. And then yung arbitrary constant na c. So we have plus c here. The indefinite integral of x raised to 4 dx is just equal to x raised to 5 over 5 plus c. This is our answer. Ganito lang yung proseso kung paano tayo gumamit ng power rule for integration. Now, let us have more examples. Let us proceed with our example number 2. We have one, the integral of 1 over x raised to 6 dx. Medyo komplikado lang siya kasi ito, we can get its reciprocal tapos magkakaroon tayo ng negative exponent. So, this is also equal to yung 1 over 6, gagawin natin x raised to negative 6, the reciprocal, and then we have our dx here. Tapos kapag ka andito na tayo, then we can apply our power rule for integration. Ang gagawin lang, this is just equal to, we copy the base x, tapos yung nasa exponent na negative 6 ay dadagdagan ng isa. Tapos kung ano yung nasa exponent, we have negative 6 plus 1, yun din yung nasa denominator and the arbitrary constant c. Then this is just equal to, x raised to negative 6 plus 1 is just equal to negative 5, and then this is over, Negative 6 plus 1 is also negative 5 plus c. Then this is our integral of 1 over x raised to 6 dx. This is now our final answer. Ganito lang yung proseso niya. Now let us have one more example for power rule for integration. We have our example number 3 here. The integral of the cube root of x dx. Kapag ka nakaganito yung form nung given natin, mas maganda na ilipat natin siya into its exponential form. So we have here, this is just equal to, yung cube root of x dx, this will just be equal to, kuhanin natin yung exponent nung nasa loob, this can be x raised to 1, kaya ang gagawin, this is x, tapos yung exponent, yung nasa loob, siya yung nasa numerator, so this is 1 over, kung ano yung nasa root, in our case 3, siya naman yung ilalagay sa denominator. So the cube root of x is also equivalent to x raised to 1 over 3 and then dx. Kapag ka nakarating na tayo dito, we just apply our power rule for integration. We do the same process, meron lang tayong fraction. This is just equal to, we copy the base x, tapos kuhanin yung exponent that is 1 over 3, tapos mag a tayo ng 1 sa kanya, and then kung ano yung nasa exponent, siya yung nasa denominator. So this is still over 1 over 3 plus 1. Then we perform the operation tung 1 para magkapareho tayo ng denominator para makapag-perform tayo ng additional fraction, pwede natin siyang gawing 3 over 3. So with this, this is just equal to x raised to yung 1 over 3 plus yung 1 ay gagawing 3 over 3. Same here, numerator at denominator, 1 over 3 plus yung 1 ay magiging 3 over 3. Then we can perform our addition here. This is equal to x raised to 1 plus 3 is 4. So this is 4 over, we copy the denominator 3. Same here, this is also equal to 
4 over 3. Pero kung gusto natin i-simplify yung sagot, we can perform our division here. Imumultiply natin to dun sa reciprocal nung nasa denominator. Another form of our answer will become x raised to 4 over 3. Lagay natin siya dito. We have x raised to 4 over 3. Tapos imumultiply dun sa reciprocal nung nasa denominator. So pagpapalitin, 4 over 3 will become 3 over 4. Then we perform the multiplication. Ilalagay lang natin yung constant sa unahan. This is equal to 3 over 4 x raised to 4 over 3 and then plus c. So huwag pala natin kalimutan on our solution, we also have plus c here. Dun sa nagkuha tayo ng integral. So we put plus c here, pareho din dito sa taas. So we use our integration here. So we add c here, plus c, plus c, and also plus c dito para dun sa full solution natin. Now this is our final answer. Ito na ang integral of the cube root of x dx. Extend natin to, now we have our answer here. Ngayon, tapos na tayo sa ating unang rule, that is, the power rule of integration. Let us move on sa ating pangalawa, that is, we have here, the constant multiple rule for integration. Pwede rin natin siyang gamitin alongside our first rule. Ngayon, ano ba yung meron sa kanya? We have the integral of a na nakamultiply sa f of x and then we have our dx here. Ang constant multiple rule, ang gagawin lang natin, given this constant, pwede natin siyang ilabas ng ating integration. In our case, yung a, if this is a constant, magiging a, tapos ano yung matitira sa loob, we have the integral of f of x dx. As a reminder, sa constant lang siya applicable. So, constant lang ang pwede nating ilabas sa integration. So, with this, gamitin natin dito sa unang example, we have the integral of 6x squared dx. In our case, ito yung constant natin, ito yung gagamitan ng constant rule, pwede natin siyang ilabas ng integration. Ganito yung magiging itsura niya, this is equal to, bringing out 6, we have 6, tapos ano yung may iwan sa loob, we have the integral of x squared, and then dx. Ito, pwede na natin gamitan ng power rule of integration. So doing that, this is just equal to 6 Tapos yung x squared, ito yung n natin. mag a lang tayo ng 1 sa kanya. So this is multiplied to x raised to 2 plus 1. Tapos kung ano yung nasa exponent, siya yung nasa denominator, we have 2 plus 1 here. Then this is just equal to, huwag kalimutan ulit, si arbitrary constant c. So we have 6 times x raised to 2 plus 1 is 3 over 2 plus 1 is also 3. Then we can perform our division, 6 divided by 3. This is just equal to 2. Kaya ang mangyayari, this is just equal to 2 times our x cubed and then plus c. This is the integral of 6x squared dx. This is now the final answer. Tuloy na agad tayo sa ating pangalawang example for constant multiple rule of integration. We have the integral of 8x raised to 3 over 2 dx. Ang konting challenge lang ay yung fraction na nasa exponent, pero kayang-kaya pa rin naman siya. So, this is just equal to applying our constant multiple rule, pwedeng ilabas yung 8 dun sa integration. So, we have 8 integral of, ano yung matitara sa loob, we have x raised to 3 over 2 and then dx. Applying our power rule again, this is equal to 8, tapos imumultiply natin siya dito, getting its integral, we have x raised to, yung nasa exponent ay dagdagan ng isa, so, we have 3 over 2 plus 1. And then, this is over. Kung ano yung nasa exponent, siya ulit yung nasa denominator. So, we have 3 over 2 and then plus 1 plus the arbitrary constant C. Then, as we continue performing the operation, yung 1 ay gagawin natin 2 over 2 para pareho sila ng denominator. We can add fractions. So, we have 8 here. Multiplied 2x raised to 3 over 2. Plus yung 1 ay gagawing 2 over 2 and then this is over. Same, 3 over 2 plus 2 over 2 plus the arbitrary constant C. Then performing the operation, we have this is equal to 8 times x raised to 3 plus 2 is just 5. So this is 5 over 2 and then over. Same here, 3 plus 2 is also 5 over 2. Tapos kuhanin ng reciprocal para magkaroon tayo ng multiplication. Then, plus C here, this is just equal to, ibababa natin, 
So, you have 8 multiplied 2. May iwan sa taas. So, you have x raised to 5 over 2. Tapos, multiply dun sa reciprocal. Pagpapalitin si numerator at si denominator, 5 over 2 will become 2 over 5. Then, we perform our operation. Then, plus C here. This is equal to 8 times 2 over 5. That is 16 over 5. Tapos, we have x raised to 5 over 2 plus C. Now, this is our final answer. Ganito lang kadali gamitin si constant multiple rule. Kapag meron kang constant na nakamultiply sa function of x na nasa loob ng integration, pwede natin siyang ilabas. Now, let us talk about our third and final rule for this discussion. We have here, baba natin, sum and difference rule for integration. Ito, given tayo ng dalawang functions, we are given with f of x and then g of x. From the term itself, sum and difference rule, kapag ka meron tayong ina-add or sinusubtract na dalawang function, in our case, f of x saka g of x, dx, pwede nating paghiwalayin yung dalawang functions ng pagkuha ng integral. In our case, kuhanin mo muna yung integral ni f of x, dx, Tapos, kung ano yung operation na nasa gitna nila, dapat yung pa rin ang ilalagay. So, this is plus or minus. Tapos, nung pangalawang function naman natin, the integral of g of x and then dx. Ang maganda kasi sa rule na to is we are not only limited to two functions. Kahit dalawa pa yan, tatlo or more, as long as the operation between them is addition or subtraction, then we can perform our sum and difference rule for integration. Now, let us have our first example. We have the integral of 3x plus 5 dx. Ang gagawin natin, we apply the sum and difference rule kasi the operation between them is addition. Pwede natin silang paghiwalayin. So, this is just equal to the integral of yung una muna si 3x. So, we have 3x and then dx plus yung pangalawa naman so, we have 5. Dapat paraho yung operation since addition to, dapat addition din to. Then, we have the integral of 5 and then dx. Then, we apply our constant multiple rule. So, this is just equal to, pwedeng ilabas yung 3, pwede rin ilabas yung 5. Bringing out 3, so we have 3, integral of, ano yung may iwan sa loob? You have x and then dx plus, bringing out 5, so you have 5 here, times the integral of dx. Applying our constant multiple rule. Now, we perform our power rule for integration. So, this is just equal to 3. Tapos, eto, you can rewrite this as x raised to 1. Meron siyang exponent na 1, kaya mag a tayo sa kanya ng isa, sa exponent. So, we multiply it to x raised to exponent of 1 plus 1. Again, kung ano yung exponent, siya yung nasa denominator. So, this is still equal to 1 plus 1. And then, plus 5 Ito yung meron tayong counting issue because this is the integral of dx. But remember, 1 can be x raised to 0. Kaya pwede tayong mag-add ng 1 sa kanya if we will be getting the integral. So this is just equal to x raised to 0 plus 1 is 1 over 1. Kaya the integral of dx is just equal to x raised to 1 over 1 or simply equal to x. We can just apply this one. Kapag ka nakakita tayo nito, integral of dx, the antiderivative and the derivative, that is just equal to x. Now, we continue. So, we have here, this is equal to 3 times x raised to 1 plus 1, that is just 2. 3x squared over 1 plus 1 is 2. Plus 5 times x is 5x. Then, again, c plus c. Munti ka na ulit makalimutan. So, we just performed the operation. This is 3 over 2 and then x squared plus 5x plus c. Now, this is our final answer. Again, sum and difference rule of integration, pwede natin siyang gamitin kapag ang operation sa pagita ng dalawa nating function ay either addition or subtraction. Then, kanya-kanya ng kuha ng integral. Now, for our last example for this lecture video, we have our example number 2 here, integral of 5x raised to the fourth minus 4x squared plus 9dx. Paghiwalayin lang natin sila, this is equal to integral nung una muna, that is 5x raised to the fourth, and then dx. The operation is subtraction, so this is minus integral of pangalawang term, that is 4x squared, and then dx plus integral nung pangatlong term, that is 9, and then dx. Then constant multiple, pwedeng ilabas yung 
constants na nasa loob, this is equal to the integral of 5 pala yung nasa labas, integral of x raised to the 4th and then dx minus, ilalabas yung 4, 4 integral of x squared dx plus, lastly, ilalabas yung 9, so we have 9 integral of dx. So this is just equal to 5, applying our power rule for integration, diretso na natin, we have x raised to 4 plus 1, dagdagan ng isa, so this is raised to 5 over 5, and then minus 4 times, dagdagan din ng isa, 2 plus 1 is 3, so we have x raised to 3, kung ano yung nasa exponent, siya yung nasa denominator, plus 9, integral of dx is just x, and then we have plus c here, the arbitrary constant, then we simplify, 5 divided by 5 is just equal to 1, eto okay na siya, so we have, this is equal to, x raised to 5 minus 4 over 3 x cubed plus 9x plus c. This is our final answer. And this wraps up our discussion for the basic integration rules. Thank you everyone for watching and see you on the next lecture video.